Rigathi Gashagwa is actually being made big and strong by these constant attacks that are being directed to him from the allies of Dr. William Samuel Ruto, the likes of Ichungwa. Because, uh, as we have seen, Rigathi Gashagwa is actually being made the focal point of politics in Kenya and even media or all other news outlets are not selling without the name of Rigathi Gashagwa. And uh, this is an expected outcome that is actually coming from here because what seems like they wanted to achieve is that they wanted actually to weaken Rigathi Gashagwa and actually kill him politically so that another person can take over him and he, his influence in Mount Kenya can also die. In this video, we want to look at the bigger picture of actually how this is happening and why I believe that Rigathi Gashagwa, after all these tribulations and all the kind of attacks that are being directed to him, he's actually going to come out bigger and stronger than he was before. But before we start digging deep, let me request all those who are new to our channel to take one second and hit that subscribe button so that anytime we release this kind of content, YouTube will always notify you. Now, back to our discussion. The Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa has been receiving attacks left, right, and center, especially from the people who are in government. And uh, this has escalated to the level whereby some members of parliament from Mount Kenya region have actually coalesced and uh, coronated Kiture Kindiki to become the intermediary or the link between uh, the Mount Kenya region people and the president. This is despite the fact that it is expected that the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya, being the second senior most individual in the Republic, is the person who should actually uh, be the link to the executive. Also considering the fact that he's coming uh, from uh, the same region. And that move was actually aimed to weaken Rigadi Gashago, but it has actually backfired because it has garnered some sympathy votes and some sympathy kind of outlook to the Gadi Gashagwa. I have been able to talk with some people in Mount Kenya and uh, these people are saying that they are now viewing the Gadi Gashagwa as their kingpin and their savior, the person who will actually be able to remove them or to make them uh, come out of uh, uh, the webs that the president, Dr. William Samuel Ruto has put them. And that I mean economic web, uh, there's, there's a lot of issues eh, that are happening in this country. And uh, that was actually an intended consequence, which, which it's to mean that despite these members of parliament eh, going this side eh, or trying to uh, sideline the Gadi Gashagwa, he is still having people supporting him. And this means that these members of parliament are representing their own personal interest, okay? While here Rigadi Gashagwa appears, I don't mean that he's presenting the interest of the people, but he's making it appear like he's actually, uh, uh, actually representing the interest of the people. You know, even the mem 48 members of parliament who left or who uh, dissociated themselves from Rigadi Gashagwa say that they are dissociating themselves from Rigadi Gashagwa because they believe that Rigadi Gashagwa's interests are ho his own personal interests, but not the past interests of the community. But... They have lost it because people have chosen, that is Mount Kenya region, people have chosen to believe Rigadi Gashagwa as the person who is actually representing their interests, okay? Here, it is not about the real thing, it's about the perception. And it is actually cemented from the fact that even the some people outside the uh, Mount Kenya region are also attacking Rigadi Gashagwa. For instance, you've seen people from Western region, Yanza, some attacking Rigadi Gashago. So he is actually being created big and made uh, to be a martyr. Just three days ago, we also saw the, that some elders from Mount Kenya region also came out and coronated Kiture Kindiki to be their king or to be their um, uh, the senior most leader. And it is also seeming to be, to, to be backfiring because we have not seen uh, it actually being uh, received well by the general population, and that's, I mean, the common mananchi, people who vote. As much as it may be received by this leader and who uh, are actually being excited, but it is not exciting people on ground, okay? So here, 
uh, what I'm trying to say here is that the president is actually uh, doing something, uh, experiencing what we can refer to as a, uh, a, a strategy where you do something, you, you believe or you thought that it will give certain outcome, but there's some unintended outcomes which you had not thought well about it. And this will actually lead it peak, or it, it will actually be very, very big for Igadi Gashago if he's impeached. So if they make a mistake of actually impeaching him, or even bring such kind of motion, then they will even raise his profile further. And if, although impeaching him is also very difficult, let's assume they try to impeach him and it fails. That will be the end of Dr. William Samueruto presidency. Because they will have actually been, he will actually be vindicated and he will also gain a lot of sympathy and he will be able to speak and people will listen. The only thing that can actually go to their benefit is maybe if they manage to impeach him, although still he will have some impact, but the impact will be reduced to the degree that he can only support a person. Remember, in Kenya, if you are impeached, you cannot run for office. So he will not be able to run for presidency. So his impact will be re reduced only to support an another individual, which cannot be compared with him, assuming he was the one running. So if he, uh, the president and his uh, uh, cocoon, eh, his people, want actually to win this, then they need to finish eating the cow. That is the cow they started attacking Rigadi Gashagwa. They are making him big. And the only thing that they can succeed is if they manage to impeach him totally so that uh, they can deal with the consequences that will come later with him actually trying to defend himself uh, back to the political space. Now, there is also this perspective that this move of trying to attack Rigadi Gashagwa by Kenya Kwanza leaders or his perceived former allies could be an agenda that is being done by the president himself and his allies to make Rigadi Gashagwa big. Or it could actually be being made by only Ruto, these other allies who are attacking are not aware of it, so as to make Rigadi Gashagwa big. So after making Rigadi Gashagwa big, uh, at the end, or when 2027 is close, they will again come back together. And uh, the fact that they ha will have made Rigadi Gashagwa big, it will be easier for the president actually to move around Mount Kenya region. It will be easier for him to get back that vote because he will maintain Rigadi Gashagwa and now Rigadi Gashagwa will be the sympathy vote that he has been getting out of attack and it will easily sail, he will easily sail into presidency again. This is informed from the fact that the president, that is President Ruto's kind of uh, pre leadership is not inspiring confidence and a lot of promises and a lot of things that he had promised people have not been achieved. So people do not trust him, people do not believe him. And this is largely Mount Kenya region who also gave him the most votes. So they don't actually, are, they are not willing to vote for him again in 2027. So this kind of reasoning is being informed from that perspective so that he wants uh, to make Rika Dika Chagwa big and again use him to actually capture back the Mount Kenya uh, vote that is the year 2027. Although that is a bit far-fetched because realistically, it can also backfire because what if these people fail to go with Rigadi Gashagwa again back to Dr. William Samuel Ruto? So that is uh, my opinion about uh, what is happening uh, attacking Rigadi Gashagwa, whereby the common factor or what uh, the analysis as you've seen, uh, the common factor is Rigadi Gashagwa is being made big, whichever way, whether it is him being attacked uh, to actually to be impeached or it is for him being attacked as a strategy to consolidate the Mount Kenya region, all are converging at a point whereby the Gadi Gashagwa is coming out and being made to look big and to look a very important person who is actually uh, the one who will uh, be very vital in the Kenyan politics in the near future. Remember, uh, even a fruit, a fruit with the, a tree, with the fruits is the only uh, tree that people actually try to throw stones and if the, uh, the tree has no fruits, nobody bothers to throw their fruit. So maybe you can also say so. I don't know what you think about this. Please feel free to show opinion on the comment box. Until we meet again, bye-bye.